You may notice that you hear my voice, but you don't see my lips moving. It's because I'm recording this audio on the Sony ICD PX820. Uh, pretty impressed with the quality of the of the recording uh, that this that this creates. Uh, let's take a look at some of the features and some of the frustrations that I've come across with this. All right. So as I've said, I'm pretty pleased with it, but I, I have to qualify the what, what I'm pleased with. Um, I'm pleased with it for my purposes. Uh, I've purchased this for primarily for dictation and for uh, recording lectures that I will be rebroadcasting as podcasts. Audio, audio quality works fine for that. Uh, I'm happy with that. There, there is a couple of things that really are annoying with this product. Um, but first, some of the basic functionality. It records uh, directly to an MP3, which is wonderful. Uh, it outputs it. Uh, matter of fact, it comes with a small USB cable that plugs into the side of the device. You plug this into your computer, Mac or PC, and you're able to access the, uh, access the MP3s that are stored on it uh, as if it were an external hard drive, uh, which is wonderful. So I, I, I am able to access what I record. It's easy to record. Um, one of the biggest frustrations I have is if you use an external microphone to record at high quality or super high quality, it records stereo even if you're using a mono microphone, which means that the, that the audio is only on the left track. So you can't just take that MP3 and publish it as a podcast. It's going to only play in the person's left ear. I don't know why they think it was a good idea to be able to record stereo sound with a voice recorder. I, it's beyond me. Matter of fact, if you record a lecture in stereo with a stereo microphone, people are going to be going back and forth in your ears. It's, it's going to be distracting. You only need mono. It should have been mono. And that, that's a huge annoyance. So here is the interface for the uh, Sony Digital Recorder here that we're reviewing. There's a couple things I do like about it. I really like the, uh, the notification of the battery levels. That's nice because if you are... Uh, if you're recording a lecture that's valuable and you don't want to lose it, you can make sure that you have enough battery to get through. That's, that's nice. Um, they, it has five different folders that you can record uh, your recordings into. So you can see this is on folder B right there. C, D, E, and it goes back to A. So I imagine that's really nice if you are... Um, uh, if you have... Uh, uh, maybe using this for school and recording different classes. You can keep them grouped in. Uh, it kind of is useless for my purposes. One of my biggest complaints, other than um, obviously the stereo recording with a mono microphone, but other than that, I have a complaint as it relates to the menu options. If you hold down this button here, it'll take you into the menu. And you can see this is mode. Get my forehead out of there. Uh, you can choose super high quality, high quality, uh, and two other levels of recording. Um, that's nice. Need to have that there. Then it goes on to, let's go back, mode. And here we go. Uh, here you can choose your sensitivity. Here we go. There we go. Mode, sensitivity. You can choose high or low sensitivity. High would be for long distance lectures where you're recording a teacher or somebody like that, maybe meetings in a room. Uh, low sensitivity would be um, in situations where you're using it for dictation or with a microphone. I've only used it for dictation with a microphone, and like I said, the recording quality is fine. Then we start getting into a problem that I have. What is What the heck is this? First of all, I can't even read that. It's off, but is that a VOR? It is a VOR, and it stands for Voice Operated Recording. Um, I guess this is a nice feature to have, but... If you can't, if you don't know what it is in the menu, you're never going to use it. Similarly, voice op, uh, record op, rec op. Uh, here, this allows you to append recordings to the end of uh, other recordings. You're able to uh, overwrite, uh, over record over recordings, overdub. I don't know why they want this to be a recording studio in your pocket. You could do all that in post-production where it's much easier on a normal computer interface, but it just seems pointless here. 
uh, DPC. What the heck does that mean? It means digital pitch control. And even if you know that, that's misleading. Because what this allows you to do is increase or decrease the playback speed so you can get through a lecture faster. But there's no pitch difference because it's a digital recording. It's able to play back at double speed. And if it plays back at double speed, you, the pitch of the voice doesn't change. The menu options then go on with Easy S and Kant, e equally obscure references and difficult to figure out what they're doing unless you have the manual in front of you. And then there's things in here that are just silly, like there's an alarm clock. An alarm clock. It'll play back a recording at an appointed time. I bought, I, bought a vi I bought a voice recorder. I didn't buy an alarm clock. And all these things just compound to make it more and more difficult to navigate the menu system that's built into this. So am I, am I pleased with it? You know, it does, it does what I bought it for. I can record, it outputs an MP3. I have to do a little bit more post-production than I want, um, getting it to a mono channel. Uh, but you know, hey, uh, it, it functions. It could be easier. I wish I didn't have to spend so much time setting it up and trying to figure out what all those settings mean. Um, but hey, it, it, it works. So would I buy it again? Yeah, I'd buy it again. Um, would I recommend it to somebody for the price that it's at? Yeah, I'd recommend it to somebody. But at the same time, I think they've really failed in a lot of the in a lot of the uh, interface. Uh, I think that that it could be done a lot better than what it is. Um, and I, I think it's just biggest annoyance. Why would it record to a single channel with a mono microphone? Makes no sense. Uh, but it does, and that's what it does. So, all right. I hope this was helpful. Thanks.